Tim Bozick says a beautiful place deserves a good beer. So the Bitterroot Valley has Bitterroot Brewing Company. So again, I looked at the industry for for a number of years and um, um, and and really liked it uh, and really liked good beer and just thought it would be uh, a, a really good fit here. Bozick started the brewery in the late 90s, perhaps the perfect time to launch such an endeavor. Anchored by a strong trio of flagship beers, Sawtooth, IPA, and Nut Brown, the brewery rotates four seasonal ambers with a bit of an international flair. We've got an Irish amber, an American amber, Scottish amber, and a Belgian amber, each in its own season. Then there's the brewer's whim, which allows head brewer Paul Thomas and brewer Jake Talbot to get the creative juices flowing, so to speak. Those are the, probably the most fun to do, because you know, make, get, make up a new recipe and stuff. I lived in Yellowstone before I came over here. I like it a lot over here. A little more Missoula with the nightlife. A little more, a little more variety over here. But uh, yeah, it's great here. I, I couldn't think of a better place to really be brewing beer, that's for sure. Yeah. So. The brewery houses a 10 barrel brew system, built in Oregon I might add which can be seen through the large glass windows that separate the tap room from the brew house. The large tap room is kid friendly and the food, produced by Daniel Dean, is fantastic. I highly recommend the Pollo Borracho. And then I mention the live music. From the house band Jones End to Tom Catmull and the Clerics, Bitterroot Brewing Company is one of the best live music venues in the valley. It's been really, really well accepted by the community. And I think the community here in the Bitterroot uh, has just had so much to do with the success uh, of this of this business. I mean, we've just been really embraced. There's so many people, uh, you know, that have been here for years that kind of come out of the woodwork. It's, it's like, oh, finally we can go someplace and visit. It's okay if the kids are there. Uh, we can have a bite to eat, uh, have a beer. We don't have to put up with uh, drunks and smoke and clanging video poker machines and uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's what the, it, you know, it's what our, our, our culture, the human culture is embraced for, you know, it's a public house. It's a, it's a place where anyone can come and hang out a little bit and have a beer if you want or, or not. I mean, we keep, uh, you know, a bunch of different sodas and, and uh, water and, uh, you know, non-alcoholic beer. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a place where everyone can come. A little bit of music. For GrizzlyGrowler.com, this is Tim Akamoff.